Hi everybody and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play on my channel. Uh, and today we're going to be doing the... Uh, I'm going to be doing my second Shantae game, Shantae Half Genie Hero. <clears throat> this was only released um, on the 20th of December, so it's only been out for... What? A couple of weeks at most? Um, so yeah, um, it's a really good game. <laughs> Spoilers, it's a really good game and I really like it. So we're going to um, play through it. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, I already tried to start recording it, but um, yeah, stuff happened, so let's get straight into it. We're going to start playing the game, um, and it's kind of cool, one of the things, this is kind of cool, which I only just noticed, um, is that if you beat the first uh, Shantae game, like on a save file, like if you have one save file and you've beaten the game, then uh, Shantae Hero Mode opens for all the other um, files. Which is pretty cool, but I'm going to be playing through the full main game, um, developed by WayForward. Absolutely, uh, really fantastic game. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's start a new game, and let's get going. <clears throat> Here we go. Sorry about the cough. Still working through that. So yeah, first thing I'll say is that the game looks absolutely gorgeous. The backgrounds are really, really nice, and the hand-drawn sprites look amazing. I also really like the um, portraits that they have here. <sighs> this is where I try to do my uh, voice acting. <laughs> I'm probably not going to try and put on a voice, but here we go. Huh? Is someone there? Ellipses. <laughs> Hello? So here we are, yay! Get to play Shantae. It's the uh, same thing here. <clears throat> Uh, jump using the X button. I'm playing on the PS4, by the way. You can get this also on PC, Wii U, and Xbox One. Um, and Vita as well, if you want it on Vita. don't know why you would, but there you go. Uh, so yeah, you use the D-pad for movement. And... Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. And uh, jump using the X button. So let's head through the door and let's make our way outside. And... It's here that you can really see how gorgeous this game looks like the the uh yeah the animations and how the game looks is just gorgeous backgrounds are awesome and I really love um I love everything about this game and the little fireflies it looks oh, it looks so good and the music here is really nice as well very ambient music what happened there yeah, and the uh, typical crouching animation. <clears throat> so yeah. Oh look, it's it's Uncle. Oh Uncle, you fell asleep in your workshop again, huh? I've never seen that trapdoor before. I wonder where it leads. I should go home. No, let's go down. Whoop. So yeah, we can't attack anything at the moment just because. Uh, well, obviously our hair's down. We need to have our hair in a ponytail to uh, <laughs> whip anything. So. <clears throat> At the moment, we're just, haha. Yeah, you can't attack the bats, but um, the cool thing is you can uh, lure them into the fire. Oh shit! Go on into the fire. Fuck you. <laughs> and that hurts them, which is pretty neat. Haha. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. You don't get any um, drops from them, so let's get going. And we're finally here. What is this place? Does Uncle even know it's down here? There goes that voice again. What voice? I didn't hear anything. Welcome, daughter of the genies. Who who said that? Whoever you are, you better come out right now. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh look, it's a ball of light. Don't be afraid. Gasp. Who are you? A messenger from the genie realm. I have my theories on who this is, but I'll say that till the end. <laughs> I have summoned you here to warn you of a great danger. Very soon, an agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world. It seeks to corrupt our magic and use it for its own selfish gain. With our power at its dis sorry, with our power to <clears throat> fuck, <laughs> with our power at its disposal, this agent of darkness will reign supreme over both of our worlds and no one will escape its wrath. Oh no, this sounds serious. 
How do we stop it? As a daughter of the genies, only you have the power to do this. M me? How? I will help you where I can. Listen for my voice and follow your heart, as you always have. Hmm, why have they shown heart in yellow? Oh well. Only then can both our worlds be saved. Wait, don't go. What about my mother? Is she there with you? Ellipses. I can barely hear you. Is she in danger too? Please tell me. Ellipses. <laughs> Please, I have to know. Don't leave me. And that's it. Flash of light. Oh, can't say anything. Uh, let's not save here. <laughs> boy, oh boy. That was some crazy dream I had. No more comic books to in, be in bed from now on. And that whole tub of cookie dough ice cream probably didn't help much either. Oh well. Now I'm up, I'm. it's time to meet Uncle. He's probably at his workshop, knee-deep in gizmos and... What is that? Goo... Goo What the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, now we have full control. No, I don't want to talk to you. Let's uh, get some gems, so... Same as uh, Shanta and the Pirate's Curse. You collect gems and they are your currency, you collect hearts and they replenish your health. Um, and this is the first world, so this is your main area where you'll get your um, mission and stuff. I might as well go through every player now. This is the gallery, this is uh, for use later. Uh, this here is the item shop where you can buy shit. This is the um, the bath... I can't remember what it's called. The, um, the bathhouse. There you go. Uh, in there you can replenish your health for free and you can also... <clears throat> sorry. You can also talk to the woman in there, she will give you help on, you know, where you need to go if you're lost. Sky's Hatchery, this is how you get to the um, main levels in the world, and this is our uncle, Uncle's workshop, where we can talk to him. This guy here you can talk to to save. But anyway, let's head into Uncle's workshop first. And talk to him, press the circle button. <coughs> Sorry about that. Good morning, Uncle. Mm-hmm. Say, I had the weirdest dream last night. And you can tell me all about it. But first, give your old Uncle Mimic... Bleh, give your old Uncle Mimic, Mimic a hand, will you? Sure. Is this something to do with your new invention? You'll see. I've got a mechanical part on the uh, on the back of it. It should be... Uh... Should have arrived today. Sorry. <laughs> I spent. I sent your pal Apollo over to the item shop to pick it up, but he hasn't come back yet. And that was over an hour ago. Always his head in the clouds, that boy. Would you mind picking up the part for me? Sure thing, Uncle. Right. First mission. <coughs> Sorry about that. So we need to go to the item shop. So this is the item shop. We go in here. And oh look, he's not here. Welcome to the item shop. Uh, we'll be over for business in just a few minutes. Yeah, so he's not here. What you have to do first is you have to go to the bathhouse. You'll find Bolo in here. Hi, Bolo. Bolo, what are you doing in the bathhouse? Uncle's waiting for you to deliver his package. You're in the wrong shop, you numbskull. This woman. She's like a bathroom angel. Oh, for God's sake, Bolo. Oh, good gravy, not this again. Snap out of it. Can't look away. Never mind, I'll talk to her. Yeah, just stand in here and you'll refinish your health. But as I'm at full health anyway, what meagre amount I have, let's talk. Good morning, welcome to the bathhouse. A place where you can uh, rejuvenate your body and, mind and spirit with the tranquil sounds and uh, sense of hardcore white knuckle full throttle max relaxation. Ah, oh, I love that. Normally I'd offer you advice about your quest. But right now, I'm trying to figure out where this receipt came from. Uh, whoever delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. Anyway, if you're heading to the shop next door, please take the receipt with you. And we got the sales slip. 
Yeah, that's weird. And remember, if you ever lose your way, come see me for a free hint. Yeah, so she'll tell you where to go if you're missing. Follow, you're fucking useless. Let's go. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Item shop. And uh, now we just talk to him. Oh, you're picking up for your uncle then. Just show me the receipt and I'll fetch it for you. There you go. I gave the sales slip. Okie dokie, let's see here. Yep. There's this order. It was stuck to this box of hard drives. Okay. And we got the magnet. Well, hard drive. the hard drives are going to be fucked now. And you can talk to him. Oh, you can't do that yet. I think I have to wait until I've uh, delivered the package. Okay, let's go. Can't do anything else. Let's deliver the package to Uncle. Uncle Mimic here. Here you go, Uncle. Ah, you have something for me? Sure. We gave him the magnet. Nice. Ho ho, it's here. My magnet has finally arrived. This means it's time to show off my latest invention. <clears throat> wow. That looks impressive. <laughs> oh my, what is it, Uncle? Something to help you defend the town. I call it the Dynamo. Oh no, Meow? Dynamo, it's a contraption from the old world that I'm attempting to piece back together. That magnet you brought me goes right... here. Yeah, like that, you see. Once it is completed, the machine will generate enough electricity to light up Scuttletown day and night. I'll chase away every mo monster and pirate within a 10 mile radius. Scuttletown will be safe and sound. And you get to relax for a change. That's amazing, Uncle. When will it be ready? <clears throat> Well, there are still a few components missing, but I'm getting close. Next, I need to add a... let's see here. Where are my dynamo blueprints? Uh, I had them last night, but now they're gone. Did you try looking in the basement? Basement? My workshop hasn't got one. But there's a trap door right in the... F fucking... Tinkerbat! Ah! A Tinkerbat, I said that. <laughs> that filthy pirate just ran off my blueprints. Don't worry, Uncle. I'll... Oh. Trouble. Was that cannon fire? That blast came from Main Street. I've got to go. Scuttletown is under attack. You'll need a, a, a ride. Head to Sky Sanctuary quickly. Right, let's go. Sky Sanctuary? No, that's a uh, Sonic level. Let me see if I can talk to him now, actually. Just quickly. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I I haven't got enough. Uh, hang on a minute. All right, damn it. I'm gonna have to uh, head to Sky Sky's Hatchery because uh, I can't. I haven't got enough money. All right, let's go. Sky. I heard it. Main Street is under attack. I'll give you a ride, but none. Of, I'd give you a ride, but none of my birds is big enough. That is unless unless what. Wrench, I need you. Ready to show Shantae your newest trick? Car. Mega Wrench met Metamorphosis. Holy shit, that's a big bird. How did he... I'll explain later. Here. Just in case you're wondering. No. <laughs> they don't explain later. A bird whistle? Just get on already. That's a way to get out of the level quickly in... Uh, for backtracking and shit. You know, you can call Ranch and get uh, out to this area, which is the main map, easier. Eek! Relax, Ranch can stay this size for several seconds. Seconds? <laughs> Just choose a location and we'll drop you off. So yeah, time for the first level. And by the way, it isn't timed, you can stay here as long as you want. Um, so let's head to Main Street and we're gonna go to the first level of the game. Let's go. It's a bit of a change from um, Shantae and the uh, Pirate's Curse in so much, and the other games, in the fact that it's not one big overworld that you explore, instead it's a bunch of um, segmented levels, which is pretty fun. This is your stop. Now about that bird whistle. What's, uh, I've added it to your subscreen. This is the subscreen. You'll be using it a lot. <laughs> All the items you uh, you collect can be found there. If you ever need a lift, go to your subscreen and blow that whistle. Got that? You bet. 
Uh, now watch as I give those pirates a taste of my silky split ends of justice. <sighs> Just go. I won't let you down. I won't let you down either. No, I mean, I'm literally not letting you down. <laughs> Git! Ow! Ouch, what is her deal? <sighs> Shit. 